I can't believe I got emotionally attached to the dad, man. I I can't believe I I got that and we didn't get to cut the cake! Rest in peace! He's going out with the bang. Welcome back to another episode of Gundam Witch for Mercury. I should have actually watched this prologue first before I watched episode one. Now I have a deluded fantasy about we're gonna have a happy Gundam series. Probably not, because most Gundam series are depressing as fuck. Well, I mean, we had such a triumphant first episode. Country Bumpkin came out of nowhere for Mercury. Everyone's looking down on her. We have this new silver hair, like white hair girl, waifu too. And she's in, in, locked in like an engagement with another douchebag. And we take him out in a duel on first date. Everybody's impressed. We get a new, we get a new fiance and everything is looking great. Yuri show incoming, maybe? This prologue might set their expectations back to realistic standards of what a Gundam show might be. So let's watch episode zero, I guess. I wonder if Elnora is the mom's name. I forgot. Just show us her hair. If it's red. Oh. I thought she was out in space. So this is the mom. Crippled for life from doing that simulation? Oh. Your daughter. How young is she back here in episode zero? This is like many, many years ago. <laughs> she still has the same uh, eyebrows. Just a little, little bead. Didn't get it from her mom. Like I got it from her dad. So are they just twisting the narrative? I wonder. Oh, that's the dad. Yeah, the dad's got the eyebrows, like the little, you know, looks just like hers. That's really interesting. The media is twisting the narrative of they don't want the mobile suit. Their product is dangerous. But I wonder if that's really the case. Like the like the people that they're showing that's gotten harmed by everybody. Uh, by, harmed by synchronization. If it's like over-exaggerated or not. Overstepping the bounds. Oh, it's Delling! It's the... It's our, uh... It's Eddie's fiance's dad. The one that leads that, uh, the school. Much younger here. Mobile Suit Development Council. Must make a decision. Peace. Sure, sure. Wield a hammer of witches. Is she gonna accidentally step into the suits? Well... The suit's a baby too, and so is she. Maybe they're the perfect match. Oh, she's gonna go for a ride. Okay. This world ain't scary. Eric to Samaya. You like cake? I don't think she understands what cake is, but thank you. Yeah, yes, I love cake. Okay, this council meeting seems very important. But we were intentionally left out of the council meeting. The people developing the product itself are being left out of the meeting? Delling's going rogue, maybe? Freeze all development. Wait, 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 wait. Our product just getting stopped? Why? Yo, wait. You're gonna stop the product and you're gonna hold them under season. Why? Because the media press is so bad right now? Are they gonna attack us? Wait, wait really? No, we're not. All right, we're getting right into it. Here comes despair. An auditing organization called Katedra. Delling is behind all this. They consider us a threat, I guess? The cake, we never got to split the cake, man. But Eddie is in the mobile suit. But there's been a lot of time that passes between now and episode one. So I guess we hide in the mobile suit somewhere elsewhere. Oh, then again, this is still called Earth. So I guess we escape to Mercury and we hide out there for a bit. Cause this is definitely no country bumpkin. Uh, yo, we run, we gotta run, guy, run, run, go, go, go. Well, I don't have that much emotional attachment to these characters cause I barely even know them for like 10 minutes, but things are looking pretty bad. So they're really scared of our product. 
Look how advanced the Gundam is, right? Compared to their technology. That's why they're so he like they're so eager to suppress our product development and hold seas of Earth. Well, it's not actually called Earth, but it's like called like Ox Earth or something. What is it, Delling? What if it should only exist to kill people? Okay, what an extreme take, but not protect, kill. I mean, I guess at least he's being brutally honest. He's not sugarcoating it. They're different. Interesting take. The people operating as well. It's a curse. Huh. That man's good at talking. But yeah, look at the, all these pilots just like dying. Very philosophical take on the weapons, but he does have a point on that it's a curse. Minimum courtesy in the foolish act of war. This guy is. Well, I can see why he is the lead politician. That's a pretty cool line. Not only acknowledge war is foolish, but he's also able to, you know, accept that we could at least. This is the least we could do. Uh, rip in peace. I'm sorry, Wendy, I don't have that much weight for social attachment, but salute. And a sin we can never atone for. Yo, who wrote this script? This guy is so good. But look at all these people that you brutally murdered. At the end of the day, it's all bullshit. But he's very good at talking bullshit. Doctor, are you gonna die here? Yeah, you are. But I wonder, Eris. I don't know where the mom is. But Therefore, we need the product. We need the gun technology. Sacrifice. What's the, I guess the difference is between. Oh, whoa, whoa, she's grabbing something! Salute. Doctor, she's going out. She's going out like a boss. Oh, we gotta escape. The cake. What about the cake? It's activating. Is it responding? Callback from layer 33. Why? Because of Eri? Eric to Samaya. She woke up. The baby mobile suit responded to the baby, and the mom's realizing it should have been me. But unfortunately, the burden is now on my daughter. And this one escapes. The lone survivors of Earthians. Well, they're not ex Are they exterminating us? Because they said they're just gonna hold us in seas, but... Is Eri just doing this all by her? This is the same shield that we saw in episode one. She's so casually just like, boom, 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 kill! It's the same laser tech that destroyed that, that douchebag in the duel. But her technology is just so much better, huh? That's why they fear it. And then they use a very clever narrative of, their technology is very dangerous and it's clearly outcompeting us. So we'll just go with the narrative that the pilots, for the sake of the pilots, right? Yeah, it looks, I don't know if it's but for the sake of the pilots, we must put an end to this gun technology. Like, very smart that whoever wrote that script. She was casually fighting this off. A baby is just casually fighting this off. Uh, we're, no, 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 not yet. We're getting help from the dad. Is that the dad? Oh. Papa, no, we didn't even get to cut the cake! It's already too late for the dad. You can already see in his face the screen that's putting on him. No, we gotta run. Eddie, think about her daughter. Yo. The tone of the series, man, just shit. We're not this country bumpkin plot is so sad. What the fuck? I can't believe I got emotionally attached to the dad, man. I I can't believe I- I got that and we didn't get to cut the cake!
<laughs> Rest in peace. He's going out with the bang. Man, this train up puts on regular humans. This is crazy. That panting is just haunting. I, sh I can't believe I got baited by the fucking cake, man. You sing it. <laughs> no, stop it! <laughs> no! <laughs> Actually singing happy birthday as a farewell, man. <sighs> at least... I don't think she realizes what actually happened, but at least she got to hear her dad say that, you know, for her fourth birthday. This is... She's only four, man. This is... Delling, you're responsible for this. All Gundam, but it's infiltrated. Delling's headquarters, man. This prologue, holy... This just changes the entire scope of the anime for me now. Episode 1, I thought we're just happy-go-lucky country bumpkins that says happens to have amazing robots too that can, you know, out-duel the main dude that runs the duel committee. And I thought that we just got a nice wife when we're engaged and we're getting a Yuri series, like... This is heavy. This is so heavy. Delling... The... Our... <laughs> Beyonce's dad is responsible for the death of our planet, pretty much. Our entire, I'm not sure what exactly happens to the rest of the Earthians. They said that we'd be holding a siege, but it seems like they're pretty much taking everyone out. Unless they're just taking out just the people responsible for developing the Gundams, right? This technology is banned. But we infiltrated in. How can we... Won't Delling or other people... One person already recognized during our duel, Gundam. Gundam, right? He recognized it. Can Delling recognize it too and be like, Whoa, 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 where does that technology come from? Wait, wait, wait. Unless there's some advanced measures that we've developed in Mercury to hide the presence of Gundam technology. Then again, it's they called it Gund. Gund arm. But then there's also a distinction between that and Gundam. I, I don't know, but the story just... It just got heavy, man. It just got heavy. I hope that was... I hope that the Witch of Mercury series is still not too depressing, but... Man, we're in. We're in the enemy HQ, and it's time for a revenge plot. Doesn't really seem like she's out for revenge, though. It seems like she's just here to basically learn and come back to Mercury to make Mercury thrive. That was what she said. Unless she's good at hiding and it's all a poker face and she's truly out here for a revenge plot. Ah, I don't know, man. This anime is going to be good. Hey, but hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push on my smaller channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.